everybody and welcome back to Dear Isabel. I'm your host Isabel Ambers. So this is going to be kind of an experience video. Um, this is going to be happening once in a while where we kind of just sit down and talk about experiences. So one thing that I wanted to talk about was school. Um, preschool, like preschool through high school and probably a little bit into college. So in preschool, I was very popular, same. Basically, preschool through fifth grade, I was very popular. I was extremely popular. I really liked just, I liked being the center of attention. I was like literally the center of attention most of the time. And I stayed at the same school for about four years, preschool, kinder, first and second. My second grade teacher, I have such fond memories of her class. I remember we would do this thing called punctuation paradise, which was so much fun. Um, she'd write a sentence on the board and then we would have, and then if you got this little like flower necklace thing, you would have to point out, oh, um, like you'd have to point out what was wrong with it. That was so much fun. And I remember, I believe it was during that year, they also did this spirit challenge thing where they took the entire school, no matter what grade you were in, and they divided you up into the letters of our, the letters of our school. So it was Shoemaker. I got put in U, which stood for unique. I don't remember the other ones. I don't remember the other, I don't remember what the other letters stand for, but I know that U was for unique, me and my sister, we both got put in the same one, and I just remember, um, if you did something nice, like if you returned a book or something, like I remember several times getting spirit points for doing really funny stuff, and then we ended up, um, and then we, you would have a big party when you reach your letter on this little spirit thing and I remember I'm trying to think and then for third grade I just switched to actually funny thing about my elementary school it was actually my dad's elementary school <laughs> I went to my dad's elementary school um my dad worked at my elementary school and he also was a student there which is really funny when he was a kid, and I was really popular, not just amongst the students, but the staff as well. I was friendly to all the staff. I remember multiple times, me and my teacher, like, me and the teachers, it's like, my third grade teacher, we, we, we tend to have some beef at times, but nothing major. Like, I remember we did this little, like, bear thing. I don't think I have the bears anymore, but we did this bear thing where you would have to go out and sell these books and you would get a bear and you had to get I think at least three or four bears before you were able to go to this like popsicle party and they had literally totes of just popsicles and they'd hand them out um I remember we did this fun day and I remember me and my friend, we found like this major hack. So they would give you a mark on your wrist to show how many popsicles you had. Well, my friend took her bottle of water, poured it onto her wrist. Well, okay, how we figured this out? Let me retract before people start throwing hate at this. My my friend was drinking her water bottle and this boy had hit her and it fell on her wrist and then her marks like the marks faded and the people at the booth would not listen to her when she said hey i already had two we were allowed to get three at each and she and they were like oh no no you don't have any marks you're fine and we were like literally were like what the fuck <laughs> we literally were like what we were so confused we were like whatever then the sixth grade came along, which was not a fun year. Um, I barely survived to sixth grade. Let's 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 be honest here. I barely survived. Um, 
got my heart broken several times. Um, that year, I wanted to be an actor, and I actually, before I left the school, fun fact, I actually made advanced theater. I did, I remember doing this really funny skit, which people actually laughed at, which wasn't supposed to be funny. It was about a girl that was being heavily bullied, and I just remember being like, pouring my heart and soul into it. And performing it for my friend who just, this was in seventh grade, had just came into the school. And I just remember my group, <laughs> I remember my group, so in sixth grade, fifth graders would come and we actually had to perform for them. And I remember we had to perform Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, a skit that me and my friends made. It was our version of a little, of and I remember having a hat, and my and my and like my, my the people in my group were like, turn it on, turn it on. I'm like, I'm not gonna turn it on, cause it was like, and it was like jingle bells, like it did the jingle bells, and I'm like, I'm not gonna turn it on, cause they're not gonna be able to hear me, and I'm not gonna scream, cause we had an art teacher that hated us, because sometimes we'd be out in the hall just being like, ah. Um, then I switched schools for 8th grade, which, it was a lot better. I had some drama. And then ninth grade, um, for majority of that year, I actually was in person. And then we switched to online, which I fucking hated. And I will say that with a passion, and you guys can ask my boyfriend. We both hated that year, and we both did not like it. Because I would get stressed because at the because at the very beginning of the year we did not my family did not have internet and we had to go off our phones, our phone hotspot and our phone hotspots would die very quickly. So I'm like, and I remember one of the people at school saying, "Well, you have to figure it out. You have to figure it out." And I'm like, "Well, what if we can't? What if we physically can't afford internet? What do you expect us to do?" Like. I hated, I hated, the, there was this one lady in the office, I fucking hated her, because she doesn't work there anymore, but I remember she was so mean to the kids that didn't have internet, thank god my sister's school provided internet for the kids that didn't have it, they, they provided internet, they provided the internet for children that didn't have internet, and then we ended up eventually getting internet through cell phone provider, which was really fun. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to think. Sophomore year was completely online and I absolutely hated it and every student that went there beside my boyfriend. I hated every freaking second of that school year. Except dance. Dance the teacher I'm gonna call her Miss A. Miss A was so much fun. She, even online, would let her personality shine through. She was so much fun. I took dance for, I put to dance my senior, freshman, and sophomore year. She did, was not, unfortunately, they didn't have dance my junior year. I cried over that because I'm like, no! So I ended up taking Woodshop, which... Um, you guys have seen a couple of things I made. Still scared of a table saw. So, one time when we had this old teacher, I'm gonna call him Mr. T. When Mr. T asked me one time, why the hell are you so scared of a table saw? Like, the thing has a computer, and I literally looked at him and I said, I do not trust that computer. I said, no offense, but if something happens and that computer doesn't register, so I'm going to explain something. The table saw that my school had had this computer inside that had a sensor where if it sensed human skin or like your finger, it would, like there was this thing where it would clamp on the blade and it would suck the blade down. Um... I absolutely was terrified of the of the table saw because I was so scared it was going to chop my fingers off. 
Didn't do that. I still have all ten of my fingers. <laughs> I still have all ten of my fingers. Still got all ten of my fingers. Which that was the goal. <laughs> and then I want to see if I can find it real quick. Guys, it's still over here. I made a pen. So, like, this is actual wood that I made. Oh, this is dirty. But I actually, this is a pen I made. So, my teacher taught us how to make pens. And I remember, like, I remember having to get through so much. Like, I actually remember making a skateboard. I'm not pulling that out. Um, I remember making a skateboard, and for those of you guys that know Sub-Zero, the webtoon series, <laughs> I have an obsession. Leave me alone. I have an obsession. Okay, leave me alone, people. Um, I made it based off of that. Like, oh my god, it was the best. <laughs> I remember me and my partner. There was, so there was this bandsaw, and the, and the one that we had at our school, I believe, was, like, I think, like, 10 plus years old, and it was really scary to use. I just remember me and her, were like, standing, like, the very back of the thing, like, like, and then, like, she was, like, I don't want to get my hand close to the blade, and my teacher's, like, you two are weird. <laughs> my teacher did call us weird and ended up helping us ended up helping us because we were just like we don't want to get close to the blade because <laughs> we were scared we were going to cut ourselves and we never cut ourselves and thank god we never chopped our hands we never cut ourselves thank god we never cut our hands thank the lord we never cut our hands we never got cut um i do remember there was one time i did call another student an idiot so there was this little saw that would do this that you would use for like smaller cuts. It was a mini bandsaw basically. And I was using it. And this one boy decided to take a piece of paper. Like, I can't remember what it's called. Sandpaper. There we go. And a piece of wood. Set it on the table that we were using. I was using. And moving the table as he did the saw, which caused me to lose grip and caused... Thank God that it, I'm surprised my nail did not, that it did not cut me, but my finger got caught and the piece of wood slammed my finger down into, I'm surprised I didn't break a finger, slammed the thing down in, in the, thank God I was wearing safety glasses. The blade flicked and hit my safety glasses and then fell on the floor. And I remember the teacher looking at me like, and I'm like looking at the teacher and I'm like, I'm like, here's my project. A half cut leaf. Literally, it was half, it was a half a cut out leaf. And I just remember, here you go. I ain't working with that anymore. You can go fuck yourself. I didn't tell him to go fuck yourself, but I was like, I was like in my head, I'm like, please go fuck yourself. I ain't doing that again. And then obviously he didn't make me. He gave me a decent grade, but I just was like, no. And then that's why we had the rule that if that, that we had, so basically then we had, then next semester came and then we had a rule where like, we had mini table, only mini, you can't, you know, mini table, you know, he was like, you cannot sandpaper on this table. We had a sandpaper station. We had like a, a wood stain station. We had measurement sta like we had all kinds of stations after that, which was really, really fun. Then senior year came, a lot of drama happened. Um, me and my boo got together. Thanks for old, thanks to my old friend group. And I'm going to be addressing something and I am so sorry if I cry. So I've heard a rumor that one of my old friends, someone I used to film with, I'm not allowed to say her name because her family did not want, does not want me to, but I'm gonna, someone I used to film with and you guys used to see on my channel all the time, so I'm gonna call her B. B was 
from what I have heard, have been going around saying that I lied about my family having cancer. And I'm here to address the rumor. I did not lie about my family having cancer. And I brought this up to my parents last night. I'm like, hey, did you know that he's running around saying that I lied about so-and-so having cancer? My family does not want me to specify exactly who because they would like to keep it private, but they said I could say something about it. And I didn't lie. And then I brought it up to my parents last night and I found out that I didn't know everybody I didn't know I only knew about four about two people actually that had cancer I only know of I only knew of two people and I knew of but there was about I think like six people in my family that had cancer maybe more but if we're being honest I would never ever do that for views. I have seen other people do it and personally would never do that. The only reason why I said something on my YouTube was because a family member that I was really close with had it and it was just getting harder and harder to get the motivation to film and I didn't want to just leave you guys high and dry so I was like well I gotta say something and her going around saying that is hurting me because I would never lie about that and the people that know my family know that they had can't that he that my family had has had people with cancer. He was one of the first people I told when I found out. And I've lost people to cancer. It's like now I understand when you're when like people are diagnosed with cancer, I understand now the pain that their family goes through. I don't know what it's like to have cancer because I've never had cancer, but I can speak from a family member standpoint of someone that's had cancer. Like I'm hoping anybody that watches this channel doesn't get cancer. Or their family. I'm hoping nobody gets cancer. And I'm hoping that in our lifetime that we can find a cure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end this video.